I'm here with my sisters to help read a new book to you. It is from the Alpha Bobbles Adventures series, which is a series all about the different braille symbols and the secret tiny city that they live in. This first book is called Little A's First Day. And now I will let my sisters take it away. Somewhere south of your elbows and all the way at the end of Dottie Drive, there's a hidden city of tiny creatures. Their bodies are made of bobbling spheres, sometimes two, three, four, or more. They live in tiny paper houses and go to tiny grocery stores. Though their city is small, they have plenty of big adventures. It's like nothing you've ever seen before. Ding, 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 the school bell rang, and all the little Alpha Bobble kids funneled their way in through the big double doors like a tumbling, rumbling river of brightly colored gumballs. Here we have the double doors that open to reveal the many colored alpha bobbles. This was Zoe's first day at Alpha Bobble School, and she had never been around so many other kids before. She was a little nervous that they wouldn't see her and squish her up against the manila hallway walls. She was in kindergartener and only one dot big after all. Here we have little A standing to the left of a welcome back student sign with orange and blue stars. She looks nervous and we have letter L walking by. She finally made it to the door with a capital letter B embossed on it and gave the sign dot six and then dots one and two. Yep, here it is, she agreed with herself, slowly opening the door. Here we have little A standing outside of the door where there's a hexagon with a capital letter B with raised dots. The paper walls inside were decorated with colorful posters and balloons tied with streamers floated in the corners. Little A glided to the rounded seat and present desk that had a name written on the main card and sat down without interacting with anyone. Little A is hovering above her seat, where she sees her name tag in front of her and three balloons with strings. Good morning, my little bobbles, said Miss B, the teacher. She was bright blue and like all alpha bobbles, when they become grown-ups, she had a matching dot six floating right by her side. Good morning, everyone exclaimed loudly little A. Here we have Miss B standing in front of the class. Welcome to your first day. Let's start by seeing which of our friends is here. As always, we'll go in alphabetical order. When you hear your name, I want you to say your dot numbers and say something that rhymes. This will be so fun. Here we go. Here we have the six dots of a braille cell. Each one is labeled with its dot number. A, dot one. Hi everyone, she said shyly. She did not like going first. B, dots one and two, how do you do? C, dots one and three, that's me. D, dots one, four, five, I love to dive. Here's Red little A, pink little B with a yellow bow, green little C with a pink bow, and blue little D. E, dots one and five, it's time to dive, she said, doing a little dance that made everyone laugh. F, dots one, two, four, cool to the core. G, dots one, two, four, five, coming to you live. He said like a news anchor. H, dots one, two, five. How about a high five? Here's orange little E with a pink bow, purple little F with a light blue bow and white polka dots, lavender little G with a blue hat, and red little H with a blue striped bow tie. I, dots two and four. Let's hear some more. J, 
dots two, four, five. The fun has arrived. You are all doing so wonderfully so far. Let's see who we have next, Miss B said smiling at the class and then returning to the device that sat on her desk. Little A recognized it. It was a bobble book like her parents had at home. Miss B would press all six of the dot numbered keys each time a student said their dots and rhyme. Here's light pink little I with a pink bow and green little J with a black hat. K, dots one and three, yip yippee, K said enthusiastically. L, dots one, two, three, yes indeedy. M, dots one, three, four, let's hit the store. N, dots one, three, four, five, this class is buzzing like a beehive. Here is a blue little K with a pink bow orange little L, a purple little M with pink sunglasses, and lavender little N with a blue bow tie. Oh, dots one, three, five. I don't give up, I like to strive. P, dots one, two, three, four. March in place, now to the door. P chanted, bouncing in place. Q, dots one, two, three, four, five, and happy to be alive. R, dots one, two, three, five, a web board, I love to ride, she rhymed. Little A had heard those. Alpha bubbles used them to travel around. Digitown, a totally virtual amusement park. She had always wanted to go there. Here's a red little O with orange glasses, a light pink little P, and a green little Q with a pink bow. S, dots two, three, four. My dot spot can really snore, S snickered along with his classmates. T. Dots two, three, four, five. Forks, spoons, and knives. Very good, everyone. We're almost to the end, Miss B said encouragingly before returning to her attendance list. Here's a blue little R, an orange little S, and a lavender little T. U, dots one, three, six. I know a lot of magic tricks. V, dots one, two, three, six. I like crafting with popsicle sticks. W, dots two, four, five, six. I eat lollipops in 10 licks. Little A could hear some of the students wondering if that were true. Here is a magenta little U with a light blue hat, has a pink bow and blue glasses, and a an red little V with a blue bow tie, and a light green little W. X, dots one, three, four, six. I like to draw with sticky wicks, X smiled. Lots of students agreed. It was fun to make drawings using those colorful bendy strings that could just stick to about anything and peel away just as easily. Why? That's one, three, four, five, six. I like fruity trail mix. Z. That's one, three, five, six. I love to take lots of pics. Here is a green little X with a white bow, a blue little Y with a pink and yellow hat, and an orange little Z with pink bow and pink glasses. Great! 
Everyone is here and you all know your dot number so well. I'm very happy. Let's work on learning some of your friends' dot numbers, Miss B said with a grin, now bobbing through the rows of desks as she handed out a coloring sheet. It was little A's favorite kind, a spongy type of paper that puffed up whenever you colored on it with a marker. Here we have the manila textured paper with the colored in raised dots for letters A, B, and C. Miss B had a class practice writing the first three letters of the alphabet with special dot markers by filling in the empty circles in the six dot cells. Some students had to use the alphabet that was embossed in raised colored dots on their name tag as a reminder while others worked steadily along. Here we have the Braille alphabet chart. The next part of the day was recess. Little A picked a donut shaped swing to sit on in the far corner of the kindergarten playground. She wasn't sure how to get any of the kids to play with her, and she still felt a little shy. Then she saw something bright yellow bouncing her way. It was her classmate B. Hi, she said cheerily. Can I swing with you? Donut swings are so much more fun with more people. Here we have little B looking at little A swinging on a green donut swing. Little A nodded. Wasn't it cool? We got to color our own letters today, B said proudly. Little A smiled and nodded again. You don't talk very much, do you? B asked. Little A felt embarrassed. B was being so friendly to her, but she might not want to stick around if little A didn't say anything back. I'm sorry, she said, nearly whispered, looking down into the center of the donut swing. Little A and little B are smiling, sharing the donut swing together. It's all right, B said with a chuckle. You're just shy is all. I love to babble. I can help you out. Tell me about your favorite things, B encouraged. Well, little A started slowly. I like playing with bubbles. She looked at B and then looked away. What if B thought that was something only baby should like? In this page, we have a bubble wand with vinyl teal bubbles. Ooh, me too, B exclaimed, especially because they start with the letter B. Little A giggled. She was starting to feel more comfortable. She and B talked on and on about their favorite toys, ice cream flavors, and places to go until recess was over. On this page, we have the different toys and two sets of ice cream cones. Back in the classroom, the students gathered on a big circular rug. Little A was happy to see B take a spot next to her. Having a friend nearby helped Little A not feel so shy anymore. And she happily sang songs and answered questions out loud with all the other students. Little A is sitting above a circle shape and Little B is sitting above a triangle shape. During lunch, a and B both brought peanut butter and banana sandwiches with baby carrots. They said that made them sisters. They enjoyed pretending that they were princesses of the peanut butter kingdom and made believe their rounded water bottles were fancy teacups. Here we have little A and little B sitting next to their lunch boxes and water bottles and they both have a crown on. Then, at the library, B helped A find a book. It was one called The Bubble Pillar, a story about a silly bubble that wanted to become the longest bubble in the world. Little A was so happy to find such a great and helpful friend. Little A and Little B are holding the Bubble Pillar book. That opens up to show the Bubble Pillar. At the end of the day, little A and B exchanged sticky wick pictures that they had made for each other. Little A had created a yellow butterfly with the body made up of B's dots one and two. And
and B had put together a picture of her and little A sitting on the donut swing. On the top, we have little A's picture, and on the bottom, we have little B's picture. They said goodbye and hopped into their parents' cars, still using the pictures to wave to each other through their car windows. Little A couldn't wait for the next day of school. Here we have the orange and red car and the blue and green car. That is the end of Little A's first day.